Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I have just a small random haul to show you. It's some vendor wax, some retail stuff. Um, honestly, I just like, I don't buy, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't buy a ton of like beauty products enough to like put together a big haul the way that I think I used to. Um, but I got some just random things, mostly home fragrance related, really, um, that I figured I would show you just so that when I'm talking about empties and stuff, um, I can, I don't know, relate to it. Um, the first thing I actually haven't even opened, I got another box box. This is from L'Oreal. Uh, this is from Influencer. I should say it's from, from Influencer. It's a L'Oreal box box. Um, I will put the Influencer link down below. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use it. You don't have to. I need a scissor. Okay, I didn't find scissors, but I found a screwdriver. So that's going to work. I haven't opened this yet, obviously, like I just said. Um, so I just popped it open and um, you can kind of see like what it looks like. They usually send you a card. Um, anyway, I, I just like blanked. I will link the influencer, my like referral link below. You don't have to use it. You can sign up on your own, but I think I get like bonus perk points I don't know, like social media points or whatever. I don't know how they tally it. They basically, if you, if you have an Instagram or a Twitter or something that you're active on, like I am with YouTube, um, you connect to that and they will send you products based on like your, I don't know, influencing ability. I really don't think I have any influencing ability, but you link your Instagram and, you know, if you have a couple hundred people that follow you, I'm sure you'll get stuff. Um, to review so you would take a survey to see if you qualify for a certain product There are things that I'm like not interested in trying and things that I am so um, Yes, anyway Usually like beauty products. I'm all in for um, So this is the card that they sent. It's the Alvive rapid reviver It's a hair treatment and so typically they'll tell you like about the product and then they want you to like what to do and you hashtag and you review. Um, I'm way better at trying these and then just going on and reviewing than actually like sharing them on social media. Um, I suck at that to be honest. This is my way of sharing it through social media. Um, and then when you see it in my empties, so I'm not like completely like scamming them or anything like that. Um, but I like don't post to Instagram and I probably should. Um, yeah, so I have this to try this color vibrancy, um, deep conditioner. For color treated hair which my hair is the ends are color treated hopefully I will chop that off soon but if this is something after I try it once that I don't think it would be great for me I'm going to give it to one of my sisters who constantly color their hair so I'll pass it along to them uh, but I do try it once at least once and I would keep it if it was probably more suited for me but only the like lower maybe eight inches of my hair have color in them because I've been trying not to color my hair uh, so there's that. So you would review it and if you want to earn like a badge, you don't have to earn badges, but you can earn like a badge that makes you cooler and get more points. Again, you step up the ladder. Then you would like share it to Instagram and take a photo and post it on here and go to the target.com website and review it there and then take a picture of your listing and that type of thing. So there's that. So that's, that's that. I'm going to put that back in the corner there. Okay. I just paused and then just said that there. Okay, and then um, the next thing that I have is actually something that I saw through a couple of the wax groups that I'm in. I saw that the Michaels Ashland Warmers were being clearanced out. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. I've heard nothing but good things about them. Honestly, I haven't purchased them before because I think they're ugly. <laughs> I think they're really ugly. Um, I don't think they're the ugliest warmer. But I'm just like, I just don't need another ugly warmer. <laughs> I do like the fact that, and I'll show you this in a second once I grab this. I had to pause really to take these out of the bag because they were really wedged in. Um, I ordered them online to pick up in the store near me. Uh, there was one close to my work that had three in stock. That was about as many as I thought I needed. <laughs> and I actually asked my sister if she wanted to buy any because if she wanted like quite a few of them, I was going to order them just to be shipped. But you had to buy like 13 
of them in order to get free shipping because of how cheap they were. They were being clear and sell for $3.97. I think they're normally $9.99, but then of course Michaels will have like 40% off one item or 50% off an item. So you would get them for like five bucks, but three ninety seven is hard to beat. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I picked them up in the store and they look like this. They have an enormous dish. Sorry if you can see the reflection there. Um, and you can take off the top like big bowl and it's a hot plate warmer. So you can actually set a candle on it and use it as a candle warmer if you choose to do so. So you don't need a separate candle warmer. And uh, for that reason, they're really awesome. And so I bought three, so I'm just going to stack them in the background here. I'll just set them right there like that. Just push them back a little bit. So there's that. Nothing super exciting. Um, one thing I don't know is 120 volts, 60 CAC. I feel like they're tw uh, 20 watts. Why doesn't it say it? it should, that's where it should say. It's really dumb. Um, I'm going to pause really quickly because I would like to tell you. Okay, I looked on both the bottom um, actual warmer part and um, on the... Uh, I think it also says on the... Um, like the... I want to say clip, but that's not what it is. Like the on and off switch, <laughs> the switch. There we go. It's usually printed on the switch too, but I did look at the bottom. So it's 24 Watts stronger than I thought. So that's good. I love 20 watt and 24 watt hot plate warmers. That is my preference for those who care for those who don't care. That's fine. Everybody has their own preference. Some people like bulb warmers. Some people swear by Sensi warmers, lower wattage warmers. I like them all. But I, my least favorite is probably 20 watt warmers. For beauty products, I did buy some deodorants. I know that's like super boring. I also bought a brand new Proactive. And I can't remember if I showed that in like some other haul. But I bought, I'm sure I showed it in an empties video. But I did replace it with a brand new one. I buy them on eBay because I can get them for a decent price. And they come sealed and everything. And they're just fine. They come from like big distributors. But anyway, um, I did decide to buy some Dove deodorants. The only reason why I'm showing this is because there's this new one that came out and it's 0% aluminum for those that want aluminum free ones. Um, so this is a deodorant versus uh, this one that I have been using, which is this peach scented one, it, or, sorry, pear scented one. And this is an antiperspirant. So most deodorants that I think people purchase are antiperspirants and they have um, some form of like aluminum, zirconium, tetra, what is it? Tetra Chlorhydrex uh, Gly and they can vary in percentage. Sorry, my nails are disgusting. Just they've all broken. They're all just disheveled. Um, this is a lower one, 15.2. I've seen some that I've purchased before that are like 19%. But anyway, I do like the Dove ones. I think they're very soft and soothing. Um, you, if you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you know I've been struggling with this like rash on my arms. I know it sounds gross, but it's got to be an allergy of something or an intolerance or something like that. We're still trying to figure it out. But I figured I wanted to try one of these deodorants because they it's a deodorant. It's not an antiperspirant. So it's very similar to the Native brand, which is what I've been using for a while. So I wanted to compare this uh, new one to the Native. Now, this isn't that much cheaper than Native. Native sells at Target. Honestly, if you're gonna if you're going to buy it, you can get free shipping if you order it online. So... They have better scents available, like a wider variety, and they have seasonal scents to order it online. And every now and then they'll do like $5 off your order or $10 off a $30 order or something like that where it makes it so much cheaper. I believe that they're alone, like $11, $10.99, $11.99, something that's only slightly cheaper than the original $12 price online. Now... They're $12 each and that's expensive, but you can buy like a three pack for $30, which makes them $10 each. And then if you wait for a good time where they have like 10 off a $30 order, you can get that 30 pack for only 20 bucks, which is a nice way to spend only like, you know, what is that? Seven, six or $7 each. 
which is not bad. But anyway, these I believe were like six ninety nine or something like that. So this is more than a regular deodorant, which I think at Target would be like three ninety nine or four dollars or something like that. I did buy this at Cub Foods. I don't know if you have a Cub Foods around you. I don't know if that's like a Midwest thing or it's just like your local grocery store. I don't know if if you have a Cub, whatever. Anyway. So a little bit more than the regular Dove Pear one, but I want to try that to see if I like that because it's just a slightly more affordable option. Um, I don't know if it's going to work as well as the Native. I, I really, really like the Native deodorants. I, I actually love them, but I hate the price. Um, and they, they don't get rid of the like rash. So it's, that's a lost cause there. Um, but I really like them. They work very well. They wash off. You know, if you've ever washed on your arms, like the next day, that like deodorant, antiperspirant, almost like waterproof layer is on under your arms and it's very hard to wash away. It just, it's waterproof. It doesn't want to come off that native deodorant because it is just a deodorant. It just, it washes off so easily. It's just awesome. So there's my little rant about that. All right, next. Okay, here's where I'm about to get a thumbs down because it never fails. It never fails. And I don't really care. You can thumbs it down as soon as you hear this. I don't care. I just think it's funny because it, you, you slowly learn over making videos, like the correlation, anything Bath and Body Works related for me is going to get thumbs down. I don't know. People don't like seeing Bath and Body Works hauls. They, some people do not. It's usually younger people, I'm sure. They don't like hearing about you getting deals, about sales, coupons. <laughs> Forget it. But especially, especially if you return or exchange something, thumbs down. Whatever. I don't, I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, if you feel that way, then I am sorry that you care that much about what I just did. You know, <laughs> you got to find something better to do with your life. But anyway. I exchanged two candles. Here's why. They would not stay lit. <clears throat> Legitimately not stay lit. One of them was Cinnamon Pretzel Twist. I did not show it in my empties because I had already returned it. It was between doing my empties or what I was melting and filming this video. So I did not have that. And I also didn't have the other one, which is the Sweet Cherry Pie Candle. <gasps> Devastating. I thought those ones were supposed to burn well. Now I have a candle chopped up and I have a brand new one and I'm like, ugh. I should probably chop that up instead of burn it. It would not stay lit for me. I think that one specifically, there was one wick that would not stay lit. And the other two were like just, they wouldn't even create like a pool, but they would stay lit. Um, and I'm just not having it. And then the cinnamon pretzel twist would just not stay lit. Now I'm burning a, uh, what is that donut one? Oh, I don't remember. It's not, it's not staying lit. I'm like pouring the melted wax into my warmers and melting it that way. Um, and I'll eventually throw it in my candle crock because it sucks. But anyway, so I exchanged those two candles and, um, I knew exactly what I was going to go in for because I'd already known, I knew I was going to exchange them. They were failing on me. Um, I went back in and I got two more of the strawberry pound cake. I actually took the last two at this one store. Uh, this one was all packaged up, which is why it looks like that. And I was like, can I buy this or is this just a display item? And she said, oh, no, you can buy it. Otherwise, I can package you up one. I said, no, that's perfect. That is perfect. So I am looking forward to burning one of these. Now I have four of them. I've heard really good things. So I do want to burn one probably tonight, like right after this video. So that's it for that. And then for those that like <clears throat> wax and like vendor body care and stuff, I have some super tart stuff to show you. If you don't care about super tarts, that's it. That's all I got. Let me tip this up a little bit so you can see. Um, but we're going to talk about super tarts. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, I'll talk to you next time. But for those who want to stay, I did get this Christmas cookie butter. Sorry, this is from Jen. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. <laughs> um, she was, I basically posted on the like ISO, like the in search of, uh, monthly post for Christmas cookie butter because I'd heard good things. I wanted to try it um, in a band bag and I missed it in the pre-order because I was all about paying off my student loans and I said, no, 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 I do not need it. And um, then I regretted it and I paid off my student loans. So I decided to search 
this out. She had like two, one and a half bags, I think. And I, I said I just wanted to buy the full bag if that was okay. And so she sold it to me. And I can smell it through the bag. I think it smells really good. It smells, um, I don't know what most people were expecting. I think she, Brandy, the owner of Super Tarts, used a lot of oils to make this. And she was pretty proud of it. So I'm like, well, you know, I'm a really big Super Tarts fan. I should probably try it. It doesn't smell Christmassy to me, and I think someone said that they had, they smelled like an undertone of cinnamon or something really strongly. I don't really get that. I don't think it smells like a unique blend of like a bunch of different oils. It kind of smells just like a cookie dough, cookie, sugar cookie scent. Slash general bakery scent. I could see like cookie butter. Yeah. Christmas cookie butter? No. No, nothing Christmassy about it, at least not to me. Um, I do really like it, though. I think it's a good scent. And I think it's going to blend really well or also smell really good on its own. And I, I do like that she stuck the sticker on there so that I know how old it is. So that's that. Thank you so much, Jen, for, for doing that for me. You're awesome. Um, put my little package here. <clears throat> okay, and then... I ordered from the Super Tarts pre-order that was um, body care. This is the Super Tarts card in case anyone's interested. Friends, you can pause. And I do try and put um, the Super Tarts info down below so you can go to the website. I ordered three of these body care sets. Sorry, this is very loud. And this might take a while because I have not opened these to smell these. Um, they were just really cute, and I wanted to show how they were presented before even opening them. Because it was going to get messy, too. And I'm going to take them out of the bags and, like, throw the bags away or, you know, recycle them or whatever. So, the pre-order, it was body care sets, and I think, to me, to me, they they were kind of pricey. They were $14.50 for this three-pack. Now, whoa, hold on, hold on. Let me show you. It's a three pack that comes with the sugar scrub and I'll open this so you can see the size, a lotion and a perfume. Okay. $14.50. So pretty small sizes, right? But that was including the shipping, shipping included. Now, would that make sense for you to buy one for $14.50 and pay the shipping, you know, like shipping included? I don't know. I, cause I, I only saw like I didn't, you know, I didn't see the size, like, in someone's hand to see how big they'd be. I only saw, like, the listed two ounce, two ounce, or whatever. And so I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I want to spend 15 bucks on something I might not like or might be teeny tiny. But, um, I, I like, rationalized, like, how many would it take for me to buy that would, ration, that I could rationalize the shipping? And to me, in my mind, it was three, <laughs> where I'm like, okay. That's not bad because three of them will be in a priority envelope for $8 or whatever. And I did, you know, I did that kind of math in my head. <clears throat> but yeah, so there's three of them here. And uh, this little tie came undone, but they all have like little confetti and they're in crinkly bags. And I, I do think to me, like when I, I think about how much extra cost it goes into purchasing bags purchasing this confetti, purchasing bottles and containers and like little tubes and labels. Yes, I think it's worth it because it's a small business product and, you know, like this is a lot of extra cost that goes into it. So I am going to just pause for a second while I untie these so I'm not just like tearing up your ears with the sound of nails on a chalkboard. Okay, I'm really glad I paused because that took so much longer than it should have to do that. <clears throat> also, I did forget to mention that I received a sample with this order, um, but she was getting rid of all of her extra random samples, so I have no idea what this is. It's a yellow clamshell. What I'm going to do is go onto the website and look for yellow wax um, on her website. If you like search this different scents, you can, it pops up a picture of the clamshell. So like it could be this one right here, but maybe not because the bottom's red. So I need to look for one that's like all yellow and see what that scent would be. Um, there are a ton of scents 
and in, if it's sold out it may not pop up so I don't know but I will tell you what it smells like because I can go by like scent description a little bit actually I have no idea what this smells like <laughs> This is either clean or fruity. Slightly clean, slightly fruity. I, I don't know. I'm not going to spend too much time. I don't know if I smell pineapple or, or what. So there's a little sample there. I'll melt that and try it out. Hopefully I can figure out what it is because it's definitely not a scent I've had before. Okay, so I got the scents. Let's start with this one. This is Tate. So that's what the top looks like. And it's a little sugar scrub. And then there's the ingredients. This is very sealed. I love Tate. Um, oh, that's weird. This doesn't smell anything like Tate. <laughs> hmm. Honestly, this doesn't smell like anything. I mean, it kind of smells like an unscented. Maybe if I get into it more, it'll smell more. I need to pause for a second. Sorry, I saw an ant crawling in the corner up here and he had to go. So that's a bummer because this doesn't smell like anything. And it, I, it definitely doesn't smell like Tate to me. So that's too bad. I think I'll probably use this soon then because of that. Um, and then I got the lotion and these are kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's just overfilled. Kind of bent right there. And yeah, body lotion. I will use a little bit of this right now. The back is right here that has the ingredients on there feels thick and moisturizing. It's not watery by any means. You know what? That doesn't smell like Tate either. Oh, this is a bummer. I hate to do this. I hate to be negative. This doesn't smell like anything. Oh, you guys. Mm, I was really looking forward to that. It doesn't smell like anything. Do I dare try the perfume? I'm going to try the perfume. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I'm doing this on camera. Um, this has a scent. First, it just smelled like alcohol. Um, I get a hint of the Tate scent. Uh, it doesn't smell exactly like Tate. You know what? It doesn't smell like Tate. Only like a tiny hint of something that sort of resembles it. Uh, I'll wait for it to settle down. At least it has a scent and it's not unscented because I'd be pretty annoyed right now. It's, yeah, okay, okay. That's the closest thing was the perfume. But it doesn't really smell like Tate, to be honest, if I'm being like 100% completely honest with you. So there's that set. All right, the next one that I got, oh, this is really disappointing, is Beauty and the Beast. I love this scent too. Oh, okay. This one has a seal on it. Does this one not? Oh, maybe it does, but it's up there. Sorry this is taking so long. I'm just, if you don't want to watch this, you don't have to, but... I just want to do this on camera with you guys. Okay, this one I can smell. Mm, 
not exactly perfect to Beauty and the Beast, but um, I do smell a scent that's like a bakery with a little bit of blackberry. So close enough, I guess. It's way better than this one. This is smells like unscented lotion or something. Okay, and then I'm going to do the lotion here. Let me find another spot, different spot on my arm to put this. This smells like more like magically delicious than Beauty and the Beast. It's not super scented, but way more scented than that Tate lotion. I don't really smell the blackberry in that. And then the perfume. Gosh, where am I going to? I'm going to spray the perfume on my shirt. Just shaking it up a little bit here. Oh my gosh, I can't get the cap off. <laughs> Is this seriously happening to me? What a. Okay, I finally got it off. <laughs> like, what a crazy video. Okay, that's gonna smell like Beauty and the Beast. I can tell. It does smell like, uh, like uh, alcohol from perfume. Yeah, that's the best translation of those three. For sure, that smells really good. Okay. I mean, I like Beauty and the Beast, so it smells like Beauty and the Beast to me. Um, so I think you'd be safe to get them in perfumes so far, except that doesn't really smell like Tate very much. All right, the last one I got, which was a popular scent in, I think, her um, advent was Black Lingonberry Cream. I have not smelled this, so I don't really know what this should smell like. I do have quite a few scents around me right now. And that smells like something too. Kind of like a tart, tart berry. It does have a scent and it does smell good. So um, there's that. And then now, where the heck should I put this lotion? Higher up on my arm, it's going to go. Hang in there, guys. Yeah, that has a scent too. Not super strong. It's a tart uh, berry scent. It smells good. I think the scrub smells better. But I have so many scents on me now. And now I'm going to spray this perfume on my pant leg by my knee because I'm sitting on the floor. Thanks for hanging in there. I know this is super long. But if you're like curious about these, yeah, this smells really good. It smells like the rest of it. And that translated well. Okay, so based off of my experience is the perfumes do the best. Tate didn't translate well. Trial and error, you know, that's what you get for trying them. But um, the other two were good. So that's, that's good. The other two smell good. All right, so that's everything that I got. That's my little random haul. Thanks for sticking around for the last 10 minutes while I dicked around and did that um i just want to give you guys my honest opinion and first impression so there's that i am going to try and use these soon probably not the perfumes i'm going to hang on to the perfumes i will try and use the body care stuff soon they're tiny sizes so i mean over the course of the next couple months i hope to finish them because they're smaller and i think i'll start with tate to see if i can get any scent from that <clears throat> but i won't keep you any longer thanks for watching i'll talk to you in my next video bye